I'm very comfortable in the room and in this property. It, <laughs> did you hear that? Welcome back to The Midnight Bride. My name is Chris. And I'm Catherine. And we are here in Las Vegas doing something we have never done before. We have never stayed in a hotel on Fremont Street. And we are here at El Cortez. First of all, have you stayed at El Cortez? Have you stayed on Fremont Street before? Leave us a comment down below. Also, do you say El Cortez or do you say THE El Cortez? Because if you say THE El Cortez, is it really you're saying the, the Cortez? Anyway, <laughs> drop us a comment down below. Let us know what you think. All right, so first of all, we are in room 908. And this is a Tower King Mountain View room. And this is what you see when you first walk in. You know, of course, El Cortez is a, is a older property, so you're going to notice that a little bit, but they have done some upgrades in here, which you can tell when you walk in. But right here to your left, you have this bench that runs the full length of the wall. I can tell you it's not super comfortable to sit on, but it is something to sit on. And then like a little kind of working desk which might be ideal for a laptop. And then of course you have nightstands to either side of the king size bed. Uh, that I can tell you the drawers are really big, super deep if you need some extra storage. And then you do have a clock radio there and you do have outlets here on your bedside lamp. An outlet on one side and a USB on the other, which you know what? You don't always get that in, <laughs> in hotel rooms, so that's a nice plus. And then across from the bed, you have a desk and a chair. I can tell you that the desk is really high in comparison to the height of the chair. It would not be a comfortable place to work. And then you have a decent sized TV. Is this a drawer? <gasps> a desk drawer. <gasps> Another desk drawer. More things to put things in to mm -hmm. leave behind. Nice. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> but in this cabinet right here, you do have a mini fridge if you want to keep some things cool while you're in Vegas. And of course, we always use those. They are super helpful to have. Now, one of the things, aside from the refrigerator, that I was really excited about is that they offer an in-room coffee maker. Now, you do have to call for it but it is a Keurig and they give you little K cups. I think that's a nice touch. And then another chair and a table over here, which is the chair is semi comfortable, but I do enjoy the artwork that they have here in the room. Uh, that, Like in particular, this piece of Seven Magic Mountains is pretty cool. But then you get into this area of the room and it's kind of spacious. I mean, you're definitely not cramped in here. And then you have a, uh, Kind of a wide open bureau with some shelves and your safe, obviously, and then some hanging space to put your clothes and a luggage rack and also your iron and ironing board. And then right here beside that, you have kind of a makeup mirror with the chair and a few outlets there. And let's go ahead and get to the view. This, like we said, this is the tower mountain view. And what I do like, I have some pretty cool murals down there to look at, but also a lot of concrete. And then across from this, you also have a uh, full length mirror. And then in here you have the bathroom and I kind of like the design of the bathroom. I think it's pretty cool. Like with the tiled floor, there is no door to shut off the sink. It's just a single sink 
here at the Bandy, but I really like the tile, the fixtures. I think it's pretty cool. And then in this little room, which can be shut off, it does have a door to, to close off the toilet and the shower from the rest of the room. It has frosted glass, but it's very heavily frosted glass. So if you saw our room tour from Aria, that bathroom does not leave much to the imagination. But then you have a sliding glass door for the shower, which is nice. So you can just step right into it. Updated fixtures. And for an older property, I'm impressed with the height of the shower head. You know, I'm around 6'1 or so, and uh, that shower head is way up there, which is really nice. One of the unique things though, at the back of the shower, you have this little window that opens up to <laughs> give you a little bit of fresh air. Maybe if you get really steamy in here. I don't know if they always do this or not, but uh, when we checked in, we got tagged with these wristbands, which apparently we have to wear during the entire duration of the stay. Have you ever been to a hotel that requires a wristband? Let us know in the comments down below. We have slept here at the El Cortez for two nights now, and the bed is definitely a firmer mattress. Now, that works out pretty well for Catherine. I prefer a softer mattress, but it's, I mean, it's okay. I, I definitely slept out worse. And this is another point we differ on. Catherine likes the pillows. I think mine is a little bit pancaked. It doesn't really hold its shape. So it just goes to show you, like you never know what you're gonna like. You know, we can tell you if we like it or not, but the best we can tell you is it's on the firm side for the mattress. I think the pillows don't hold their shape but Catherine likes them, so do with that what you will. But we have one more night to go here at El Cortez, and so far, I mean, we've mostly enjoyed it. Uh, we really enjoy playing down in the casino. Now, the one thing I will say, the staff hasn't been super friendly toward us, and in a couple of cases, it's been downright rude. I don't know if it's maybe our personalities. <laughs> it's been really hit and miss. There have been a couple of them who were really friendly, but mm -hmm. I think overall we would say not so much. Yeah, We've it's been so <clears throat> weird because we really like the atmosphere. It's homey, it's small. Um, the music is just fabulous. We have a great time. And for a smaller property, I would kind of expect a more welcoming feeling from the staff, and we just aren't getting that. So after a couple of days of having been tagged with the wristbands, uh, I can't wait to get this thing off my wrist. I noticed that our color is in a bin labeled comp, and I... I am a little thrown off by that. I feel like we've been branded. I do want to say this about the property overall. Upon first glance, I was not impressed at all. I really wasn't. I felt very uncomfortable, I'll be honest with you. I was very judgmental of this place. I almost felt unsafe, like I was scared to come back to the room the first night. I was very concerned about the thinness of the doors. I felt like we were kind of in like a boarding house and that someone could just, with a little pressure, push in the door and enter our room. And I was also concerned about the level of noise that we were gonna hear at night. This has been such a quiet stay. I'm very comfortable in the room and in this property. It, <laughs> did you hear that? Cause I've been trying to get that noise captured on camera. It's really the only noise I've heard. I don't hear slamming doors. I don't hear people in the hallways being crazy loud. And I did expect that, honestly. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that little notification bell so that you know every time we release a new video. And we will see you on the next episode of The Midlife Ride.